Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Joseph of Cupertino. Joseph was a son of poor shoemaker in Cupertino in Italy. His father died before his birth. The family home was seized to settle the large debts he had left, and his mother was forced to give birth to him in a stable. It is said that his mother often considered him a nuisance and treated him harshly. Joseph was asserted to be slow to learn and absent-minded. He was said to have frequently wandered aimlessly with his mouth gaping open and was often so lost to the world around him that the other children made fun of him giving him the nickname open mouth he had a bad temper so he was not at all popular he tried to learn the trade of shoemaking but failed he asked to become a franciscan but they initially would not accept him finally he did join the capuchins however for a very short period of time 8 months later they sent him away sources say it was because he could not seem to do anything right he dropped piles of dishes and kept forgetting to do what he was told His mother was not at all pleased to have the 18-year-old Joseph back home again. So she finally got him accepted as a servant at the Franciscan monastery. He was given the friar's habit and put to hard work taking care of the horses. He was so continually drawn into ecstasy that it was impossible for him to be attentive to the task at hand thus when he secured a job he lost it very quickly about this time joseph began to change he grew in humility and gentleness fruits of the holy spirit were at work in him he became more careful and successful at his work he also began to pray more and do more voluntary acts of penance Finally he was able to enter the Franciscan order and eventually study for the priesthood Although he was a good and a holy friar he had a very hard time with studies During his seminary exams the examiner happened to ask him to explain the only thing he knew well and so he was ordained a deacon and later a priest It was also soon recognized that though he knew little by way of worldly knowledge and had little capacity to learn Joseph was permeated with a divine knowledge that made him competent of solving some of the most complicated theological questions After this the holy spirit began to work many amazing miracles through Saint Joseph Over 70 times people say they saw him rise from the ground while offering mass or praying often he went into ecstasy and would be caught up in talking with god he fell so deeply in love with god that everything he saw only drew him into a deeper union he said that all the troubles of this world were nothing but the play battles children have with pop guns saint joseph became so famous for the miracles that he was finally kept hidden from the public but he was happy for the chance to be alone with his beloved lord on his part jesus never left him alone and one day came to bring him to heaven on September 18th 1663
the life of this saint was marked by ecstasies and leviations the mere mention of god or a spiritual matter was enough to take him out of his senses at mass he is said to have frequently floated in the air in rapture once as christmas carols were being sung he soared to the high altar and knelt in the air in ecstatic prayer the people flocked to him in crowd seeking help and advice in the confessional and he assisted many in living a truly devout christian life however this humble man had to endure many severe trials and terrible temptations throughout his life he is the patron of air travelers and students preparing for exams